Hey guys, Shadow Wolf here, and welcome back to. Exactly. So we back. I know I've been in a while to play this game, but I wanted to play it again because it seemed so fun. So where I remember we continued off. So I'm gonna have to. What? I wasn't thinking after all. But it took you a long time to read. Ah. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> Why did I say pretty? It's pretty. So whatever. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was very descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Shadow Wolf. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in this work. I'm learning a lot, like right now, I'm just learning. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of a poem is only having Symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot of soul on putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember, it won't be long before you pick up on those things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. How is this? Monica! I'm sorry, Monica. I left you out before. Hi, Shadow Wolf. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever need suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I can relate to this character. I'm much, I'll, I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Shadow Wolf. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. But it's that sort of barrier that we all learn get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if we had those sort of things in common. Uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sailor and I are really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. Sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends up being more similar than you think. So I get the kind of vibe when I'm reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading it in too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in my case, the Yuri's writing has a gentle feel to it. I could tell that she likes exploring emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too, right? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Honestly. Honestly, though. Terry does not seem like the type of person to be 
and to sad days, like, too goofy. Well, to see each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. I just wasted five minutes listening to Monica talk and stuff. What the? Okay. I know some of you are probably going to be eating food right now, but I'm eating food too. Everyone else might be a little bit based towards their own kind of styles. But I'll always help you with finds you suit the most. I can't, I can't read, obviously. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> that one type of person, what do you... That one moment where you laugh at someone's joke when you don't understand. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I love to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Hold in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction of sparkle, patrols, a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. A peer. A peer. Wait. A pe I peer in for a closer. Er. For a clue. No. I can't see. I reel blind like a phlegm left out in the sun. But it's too late. My three times. Already scrawled up with a permanent copy of meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole with infinite choices. I realized I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he on the other side was looking in. I'm confused. So, what do you think? Hmm. It's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not the right person to ask for feedback. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style's gotten pretty popular nowadays. This is a lot of poems that have been put in emphasis on the timing between words and line. You know what? I can't. I'm obviously not a good reader when it comes to these kind of words. the inspiration behind this one? Uh, well, I'm not sure how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway... Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. So, sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Any, another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It says everyone is judging for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Crosser and Sailor and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Masuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. And I'm going to eat some of my popcorn for a second. Give me a second. As I read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions, expressions change. Masuki's eyebrow furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What 
words with this language. Eh? Did you say something? Uh, it's nothing. That's okay. Dismissively returns the palm to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is... cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sayori liked it, and Shadowwood did too. Me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm having fun with that Suki's voice. So based on that, I gladly, I gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. And Shadow Wolf liked my poem too, you know. He told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. <laughs> oh, do I, is it Jerry all over again? Eh? That's not what I... Uh... You, you just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just a little jealous that Shadow Wolf appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Uh, I... No! If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Um, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the only one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Shadow Wolf started showing up. <laughs> Oh my god, why is this game? N Natsuki! Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you! I don't like fighting guys! Suddenly both girls turned towards me as they noticed I was standing there. Shallow Wolf! She, she's just trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! She could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective. And that's when it happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? I mean, I mean you should just jump out the arena, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain it to her, Shadow. Wait, wait. There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only complex feeling the most... Most effectively, avoiding them is not so unnecessary. Limiting yourself is also a waste. You understand that, right, Shadow Wolf? Um. Well. Uh. Well, how did I get jacked into this in the first place? Exactly. It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. Uh. Natsuki Yuri, help me say Yuri. Oh God. Well, I like Natsuki's version, like, cause she's just trying to show you not to give up and stuff, but Eri thinks it's cute and stuff, and I mean, she is adorable, but I have no idea who to choose. I'm probably going to go with Helmi Sayori, but I want to choose Natsuki. So I will see you guys in the next episode, um, that's all the time we have for now, but thank you for watching, and I will show another video again of Doki Doki Literature Club. Bye guys!